pork or pig, and that's usually the main course at any royal luau. It was simply seasoned with a little bit of pa'akai or Hawaiian sea salt placed on top of the hot rocks with a traditional layer of lots and lots and lots of banana leaves. Those banana leaves were green when we placed them on top, and of course the green of the leaf and the dry heat of the rocks, you combine those two things and that's what slow cooks the food. So instead of you know, quickly cooking the pua'a, it was actually slow cooking for about six hours throughout the day while you were walking around. We wanted to ensure that it was so well done, the meat just falls off the bone. And our men, they're actually going, the top layer would have been burlap sack. And that was introduced to our island by sailors. Man, did you guys feel that nice breeze that just came through? It was so good, it distracted me. I wanted to take a short nap while I'm standing here. <laughs> it's been a humid day. There are certain days that are very humid and it actually helps with the cooking of the food. So you're gonna see that they're gonna put the pua on top of a platter. The burlap sack's purpose on top of the leaves was simply to be able to let the heat stay where it needs to and the smoke and the steam escape still through it because burlap sack, of course, is porous. And so I am, trying to see over and okay there they are you don't be shy take pictures you two better smile you never know whose instagram you're going to be on or facebook <laughs> and they're both young and single and amazing they're actually talented too they'll be dancing hula for you uh, from a young age we expect every member of our family to be hands-on everybody all hands on deck everyone helps with the luau if you want to eat good you work together as Ohana, our family. We're so happy to have you here. For bearers of the tall feathered standard, Hawaiian symbols of the royalty lead the procession. Our Mo'iwahine, our queen, is attended by a kahu, an attendant, and a kalai moku, a royal advisor. We present to you Hawaii's last ruling monarch and only sovereign queen, Her Majesty of the Royal House of Kalakaua, Lydia Liniuloku Bebehi Kamakaeha, Queen Liniuwa Kalani. Mahalo, please be seated.
give a round of applause to our Oaxaca, our master, Serena, and the other one. Have a good one, Chanson. Have a good one. Come on. Come on. Our Oaxaca, our story begins. Lydia Tamakaeha was born to high chief season to Bakia and chief as Adalberto of Calo on September 2nd, 1838, 184 years ago. As was a common tradition at the time of her birth, she was Hanai, adopted into another royal family. And so she became the daughter of higher chief, Abner Paki, and chief as Laura Cornea. And the significance of this is that it would ensure her future success and her reign. But also, Hanai was a beautiful tradition of Hawaii that allowed the learning and preparing to rule as queen. She also paid very close attention to the traditional teachings of our people. One of the greatest contributions she made to ensure we will never forget its meaning is the translation of the Kumonipo, a 2,000 line traditional chant that is our creation story. According to Hawaiian legend, in the beginning there was only darkness. Then born was Kumonipo, a man, and Kumonipo, a female. And this was the cosmic darkness that gave birth to all living things.